Hello and welcome back to Chips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks and in today's lesson I'm going to help out a client who wrote me to say, Danny, I just received a PowerPoint 2007 presentation from a client and it is awful. It contains what I, Danny, affectionately call ransom note formatting. Here is the file that my client sent me and you can see this truly does look like a ransom note too many different font families and too many different font sizes. So in this case we have two slides that contain this ransom note formatting. Now before I show my client and you how to solve this, let me open up PowerPoint in a PowerPoint presentation and walk you quickly through how slide formatting is set up for a PowerPoint presentation. At the upper level, we have a theme. Themes were introduced in Office 2007. In this case, we're using the concourse theme. Now, a theme uh, determines the background, the colors, uh, the layouts, the font pairings, and special effects. Now, the theme and the slide master, which we can customize, determine the overall font settings and placement settings for all slides in the presentation. Now, we can override those default settings for an individual slide layout. Now, this slide layout that I'm using is the title and content. In this case, the content is a smart art diagram. Now there are many other slide layouts and we can create a new slide layout and I would prefer that you do that inside the slide master. So any changes that you make to an individual slide layout in the uh, slide master or locally will set the defaults for, if you make it in the slide master, it will set the defaults for all slides using that layout. How does ransom note formatting occur? Well, it's making changes at the local level. All of those different font colors and font families and font sizes, those were local changes. So a local change is you make a selection of a bullet point or a word or a sentence or a phrase and you change the formatting. As simple as applying bold or italic or changing the font color. Those are local changes and they override all of the default default settings that we have using the slide master and the themes in the slide master. So as a result of this lesson I hope that you will learn to exercise restraint before applying local changes. All right, let me come back and help out my client. What I'm going to recommend is that instead of looking at this in slide thumbnail view, we click on the outline tab. Now with the outline tab, all we see are the text on each of the slides. Now in its default setting, notice that the font that's displaying is just plain text. There is a way that we can show the formatting. If you right mouse click over here while you're in uh, outline view and click show text formatting, notice that it shows all of that local formatting that has been applied. So we want to be able to quickly select all of the slides that contain text and then clear the formatting. Now in this case there are only two slides that contain text so it would be a simple matter of clicking on the icon for slide number two holding down shift and selecting the icon for uh, slide number three. But chances are uh, my client had many more slides with ransom note formatting. So here's what I'm going to recommend you do. Use the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift 1. Alt Shift and the number 1. It collapses the outline. Now of course you're still going to have to make the selection. So since we only have two, I'll select the first, hold down Shift and select the second. Now let's expand. The way we expand is to use the keyboard shortcut Alt Shift and the number 9. So we see that we have all of the text selected. Then home tab of the ribbon in the font group come up here and choose clear all formatting and there you go so now when we come over here and we look at the actual slide we can see that we're working with cleaned up or cleared formatting alright now let me switch back over here to the uh, thumbnail view 
And I want to talk about themes. Now, in this case, we're using the concourse theme. We can see or change themes by going over here to the Design tab. On the Design tab, and I'm going to click the More button. So this particular theme that we're using is the concourse theme. Now, within themes, what we can do is we can choose, if we wish, to use a different font pairing. So over here, the default for Concourse is using Lucidia Sans Unicode. Let's just say that we wanted to use the font pairings from the Apex theme. So we're using the Concourse theme for the background colors and the placement and the effects, but we can change the font pairing. So now we have changed the font pairings over here. And if you come over here, you'll see that in the Home tab, we are now using a different type of font. So we're still using the uh, overall settings for the concourse theme, but we're using font pairings from a different theme. Now let me show you how you can make changes in the Slide Master. View tab of the ribbon, and then open up the Slide Master, which gives you a new contextual tab. Now, what gets confusing for uh, many people beginning with Office 2007 or PowerPoint 2007 is that we have the slide master for the individual slide layouts as well as the overall slide master. Now, remember that when I entered slide master view, I was on a slide layout which was title and content. So that's highlighted. If I want to make changes that apply to all slides in the presentation, I come up here and I click this large icon. This is the overall slide master for the presentation. And notice over here that in the slide master, it's telling me the theme. If I wanted to, I could make changes to the theme here. I could also come over and if I wanted to, I could choose a different font pairing let's say using the font pairing of Arial Black for the title and Arial Plain for the body text. So you see how that made the change for all of the slides. Now if I wanted to make a change to an individual slide layout, I could do that. If I wanted to insert a new slide layout, I could do that by coming up here and say insert a new layout. We can also now have multiple slide masters within one presentation. So for right now, I'm going to leave those changes in place and close the slide master. So now when I come back here, notice that the font pairings have been changed for the body text as well as up here for the title font. So we want to avoid making changes at the local level. If you're going to make a change, make that change in the Slide Master. View tab of the ribbon, Slide Master, and make sure that you're on the Slide Master. Now, as long as you're working with the Slide Master, you could come over here onto the Home tab. And I'm not going to do this, but if I wanted to, I could change the font size for heading one text or the change the font size for heading two text. So I'm going to leave that in place and close it out. And now you see how we've cleaned up this presentation. It's much easier to work when you learn how to work with the Slide Master and avoid or minimize local formatting so you avoid that ransom note effect. Now, this is typical of the tips that I offer on my DVD ROM, the 50 best tips for PowerPoint 2007. It's available at my secure shopping site. And I'll look for you in the next lesson.